You know what isn't stone aged? Our new merch. Check it out in the link below. Sarcastically explained. Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone is a show about a doctor who is made of stone. Well, just kidding. Senku doesn't have his doctor yet and is definitely not made of stone. Oh, oh wait. Uh, yeah, there it goes. We'll come back to that in a sec. If you haven't guessed from his eccentric hairstyle or dress sense, that's Senku, our main character. He's also a mad scientist. It's so cool! Instead of a Except, you know, like, really a real scientist, not just some harem anime visual novel protag with a beefed up microwave. Basically, one day everyone turns to, guess what? Stone! Duh, it's in the title. Basically, time stands still for humanity, and the Earth reclaims itself over the course of 3,700 years. You know those climate change PSAs? Yeah, guess what? We're not saving the planet here, guys. The planet will be fine. We're saving ourselves. As George Carlin once said, and I think I am paraphrasing here a bit, the planet doesn't give a single f about us. We're just some abnormally smart monkeys that wipe themselves out through either apathy to climate change or thermonuclear warfare. Which one would you prefer? So everyone's petrified in whatever pose they were in at the time. And yeah, this is bad mail, but don't worry, our main man Senku is on the case, just very slowly. Like waiting for water to erode the stone from his body, slowly. Dude also literally counted 170,354,893,870 seconds, not only to kill time, but to know exactly what day, month, and year it is. And that's a really long number. Senku then goes to work to rebuild the world on a speedrun of the entire Civ 5 tech tree. Oh, he also has friends. Uh, this one's Taiju. He also managed to get out on his own somehow. But yeah, don't worry about the details. We'll find out about that later. The duo actually managed to figure out a deep petrification solution, and they plan to use it on their friend and Taiju's love interest, Yuzuriha. But of course, before they can, lions show up. Ah, don't you just hate it when your plans get ruined by lions? Which forces them to depetrify Tsukasa the Pillar Man. Has this joke been done to death? Yes. Am I only beating the said horse because it's a JoJo's reference? Yes? And so they manage to get an incredibly OP ally, and it seems like smooth sailing. Tsukasa and Taiju will be the brawn, while Senku is the brains. Oh, 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 if only things were so simple. Tsukasa and Senku come to a clash on ideals. Senku wants to revive everybody out here. He doesn't care about your politics, race, gender, or trashy anime tastes. He's here to bring the world back as it was, which is incredibly noble. Tsukasa, on the other hand, wants to preserve a primitive and pure world, which is kind of dumb to be honest, but more on that in a sec. Eventually, the conflict comes to a head, and Tsukasa almost kills Senku. Keyword, Almost. Senku escapes and sides with a group of primitive humans descended from a group of astronauts who managed to avoid the calamity that befell Earth. Among that group was Senku's adoptive father, Byakuya Ishigami, who is like, by far the best anime dad ever. Of all time. Like seriously, the lengths that Byakuya went to in order to foster Senku's genius and talent were just incredible. And yeah, he did ditch his kid, but given the circumstances, completely understandable. So this is Ishigami Village. Yes, named after those Ishigamis. And it's here that we meet a cast of lovable village idiots. We've got... Definitely not Saber. Google Chrome. The last Tokage. Obligatory fan service. Man service. Zenitsu, but more useless somehow. No Might. The Flash. And a watermelon. Also, brief aside, while we're rifling through names like this, for those of you linguistically inclined, the kanji for Senku's name is super interesting. Senku was composed of the characters for 1000 and Sky, but that's not the point of this paragraph. Look at these. You've got the character for Stone, and right next to it, God. That's right, mortals, bow before the new god of this world. Now, this seems grandiose and whatnot, given how humble a guy Senku is, but really, the dude's not far off. He's got what's almost a literal superpower to these Stone Agers, and is benevolent to a fault. If you ask me, Stone God is where it's at. Sorry, Aqua, but I prefer a god that's... not. Totally useless. Senku then spends the next little while working towards his ultimate weapon. A cell phone. And what can you do with a cell phone? That's right, you can play our sponsor for this video. Raid Sh- Okay, but seriously, you can actually communicate and coordinate things, and that goes a long way in military operations. Along the way on the tech tree to the phone, we actually get a ton of really cool reinventions. Now, technically, you could figure out how to reinvent the stuff that Senku's doing, but without exact ratios, recipes, or whatever, it'd be almost certainly a fruitless and risky exercise. Still, lawyers are gonna loy, and the production company's gotta cover its butt. 
Also, please don't actually go and try to make this stuff just because I'm making fun of the disclaimer. It honestly makes for some pretty wholesome content of Senku genuinely making a difference in these people's lives. And then you start to wonder, how dumb is Tsukasa? Like, no joke, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that you'll probably lose this war. Made worse by the fact that you know Senku's packing heat. But okay, let's say that he made the calculations and thinks that he can pull this off. A world based on All Might sounds great until you realize that you're SOL if you ever get sick, are born with horrible vision, or just want to eat something that doesn't taste terrible. Seriously, if I were revived by Tsukasa and got wind that there was a kingdom down the street with electricity, gunpowder, and f***ing ramen, guess whose side I'm going to? And guess what? This actually does happen in the show. Asagi again was revived by Tsukasa since he knew he needed someone who specced high new intelligence, and it backfires horribly. Because Gen's not stupid. Or one of these ugly bastards. And he just really wanted some goddamn cola. Can you really blame him? And on that note, we're now here in season 2. It's currently airing, and I'm pretty dang excited. Battle lines are drawn, the kingdom of science readies itself for battle versus the empire of might. In... The Stone Wars. Jeez, that's like the second video I've ended on a we're going to war speech. If you like this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Also, check out our merch. Thanks for watching.